There's an article that was written about uh, Don Cooper, the pitching coach for the White Sox, talked about Chris Sale's pitch count. I'd like you to tell this story because it's, it's kind of laughable. Well, because we talked about it yesterday. Uh, it's on – I found this through uh, Hardball Talk over on NBC Sports, and Aaron Gleeman – found a quote from Don Cooper that said uh, pitch counts are for people who've never been in the game. People who bring up pitch counts are people who really have nothing, who have nothing else to really know. And it just blows me away. They're doing that to say, God forbid, if someone goes down, I told you so. And these are people who are not in the arena and never really played appeal to authority. So what kind of validity does any of that hold? Stick to whatever their hobbies are, these pitch count guys. Um, so, and Aaron just, absolutely dismantles the argument. I would encourage people to go read it. But but the the executive summary of Aaron's points are, one, if Cooper is claiming that people inside the game aren't looking at pitch counts, he's just either ignorant or lying. And just look at how pitchers – look at Dylan Bundy. Look at Jamison Tyone. Look at how pitchers are being handled in the minor leagues. We know that they're – that teams are looking at not just pitch counts but innings counts. We mentioned Ellerton before. I looked back. Ellerton as a 21-year-old – er, Ellerton as a 20-year-old in a ball through 172 innings the next year he threw 187 punched out 191 guys he was a pretty good prospect back in the day and then the following two years couldn't get up to 150 innings blew out in two part blew out part way in 2000 came back through 193 innings wasn't even that good in the process and then was never the same again so you know one don't tell me pitch counts and innings counts have no correlation to injury two don't tell me teams aren't looking at this stuff because what I just described with Ellerton doesn't happen anymore. So clearly teams are paying attention, and that includes major and minor league pitching coaches. Uh, but Aaron also points out that Cooper almost never allows starters as young as Sale to throw as many pitches as he allowed Sale to throw the other day, it, to which I would add the point that you and I made yesterday, which is Sale's already had a bout of elbow soreness, which apparently didn't include structural damage, at least not on the one MRI from that angle, but... Again, why is Co why is Cooper so defensive? Is in the back of his mind is he really thinking maybe I let Sale throw too many pitches and now he's lashing out because he's questioning himself so he's projecting outward because his Cooper's own history says he doesn't usually let let young pitchers with or without elbow problems throw this many pitches. My question is what are these I mean irrespective of Sale, what are these people afraid of? You and I, I think we do our jobs pretty well, and I think we know what we're talking about. We're not always going to be right. I don't understand why every, why people in the game say continue to say things like, well, you never played, so you don't know. We do know. We don't have to play the game to know. So Spirit why are jobs. they so defensive? But why is it? It's job why security, do they have to take... which is crazy. Don Cooper should have plenty of job security. He's one of the two or three best pitching coaches in baseball. Guys go there and get better, particularly with he's got tremendous success teaching guys cutters, cutter sliders. Guys who go there with below-average breaking balls suddenly show up with above-average breaking balls. I mean, that, that's not a coincidence. It's happened too many times to ignore. So I don't know why Cooper, of all people, would be lashing out like this. But, but the in the general case, it's insecurity. It's insecurity over their specific jobs. It's insecurity. You know, a lot of people in the industry 10 years ago when, when sabermetrics first started popping up and then Moneyball came out and teams were hiring statistical analysts, there was a resistance that – not only is my specific job in jeopardy, but maybe my whole livelihood's in jeopardy. Am I going to be replaced by people from outside the game? Suddenly the pool of applicants for front office jobs expanded dramatically because people who'd gone to good schools and had a math or statistics background or a computer science background were in the running for these front office jobs that historically would just go to baseball people. And that's why you see people lashing out like that and using – Don Cooper's using two logical fallacies. The appeal to authority, you don't know anything because you didn't play the game. I played the game, and so that's why I my opinion is valid and yours isn't. And the ad hominem attack where he's basically using the mother's basement argument. Stick to whatever their hobbies are. What are those? Why don't you just say like Dungeons and Dragons? Because that's pretty clearly where Don Cooper was going with his comments here. He's calling us, calling us pitch count guys nerds. Which I don't particularly take as insulting, but it really demeans his whole argument. If he wants to make an argument about pitch counts, just bring some evidence to the table. Hey, you know what? I've done some research here, and here's a bunch of guys who had slightly higher pitch counts and suffered no ill consequences. But Cooper can't do that because, one, because I don't think he's got the data to support his argument, and two, because he's being a little lazy here, and it's just much easier to attack your opponent than it is to attack your opponent's argument.